Jay's, Good Move Papa Jay. Uh, what we're gonna do today is, it's kind of a remake of the, when I messed up the zucchini bread, okay? Uh, well, at least the video, the zucchini bread turned out amazing, but at least the video. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and just kind of combine the uh, banana bread and the pumpkin bread all in one video. Uh, the way that I use it, the breading style is intermixable between the zucchini, the pumpkin, the uh, banana, all those different things. So what we're gonna start off first guys is we're gonna go ahead and turn on our oven, preheat it to 325 degrees. There we go. So that while that's preheating, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, talk about our ingredients real quick. Then we'll get into actually putting in the bowls, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two bowls for the banana bread and two bowls for the pumpkin bread. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my recipe in half so it'll only make one loaf of the banana and one loaf of the pumpkin. What I suggest is you're gonna need a wet bowl and a dry bowl for each one. And since I'm only doing one loaf per, I wanna make sure that the ingredients are equal. So you'll need one bowl for dry and one bowl for wet for the pumpkin, one for banana, one for the pumpkin. I always suggest a couple scrapers, a couple whisks. Uh, you're gonna need a one third cup, a one teaspoon, a one quarter teaspoon, a half cup, and a one and a half cup measuring cup. And of course a spoon to mix up. Now the ingredients today, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have vanilla extract, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, honey, salt, just normal table salt, baking soda, double acting baking powder, sugar, flour, oil, four eggs, and of course, whatever you want to flavor the bread with. We're gonna do a banana and a pumpkin. So you're also gonna need at least one loaf pan. If you're just making one loaf, you'll need one loaf pan, but I am making two loaves, so I need two loaf pans. And these are nine by five pans. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients into each bowl. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our banana bread. Of course, you're gonna need the four bananas. All right, and that's just for one loaf. You only need one cup of bananas, okay? You're only gonna need one cup of the pumpkin mix, but I just got all those out there so that way I can take a look and see how many bananas it takes to fill up one cup. So let's go ahead and get a dry, dry ingredient bowl. We're gonna start off with flour. And both, why don't we just do this? Both of our breads today will take the exact same dry ingredients. So we'll go ahead and do those both at the same time. So we're gonna do three, I'm sorry, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half per. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a half cup of sugar. same. So we're going to do a half cup sugar in one and a half cup of sugar in two. And so that takes care of our flour and our sugar. Now what we're going to need is, oh let's do the, let's do the baking powder, double acting baking powder first. What we're going to need in here is we're going to need two and a quarter per per bowl. So one, two, one quarter. 
Like over here. I'm gonna do one, two, one quarter. All right, so we've got those taken care of. Now let's go with our ground nutmeg. I would like to go into each one with one quarter teaspoon. In each one. One quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon. So I did forget we are going to need a half teaspoon, so let's go ahead and get one out of the drawer. We are also going to need a half teaspoon, and the half teaspoon is going to be a half teaspoon of salt in each. There we go. And that basically finishes up our dry ingredients. So what we'll want to do is just give them a quick stir, just to kind of get all of the, uh, sometimes the nutmeg, I've noticed, does it kind of more than anything else, uh, tends to want to clump up. All right, so like I said, the dry ingredients are the exact same as for both breads. So what we'll do, up just real quick. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started with our wet ingredients. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I now I did forget while I was uh, trying to talk and everything else, I skipped over a uh, one quarter teaspoon of the baking soda. But I did go ahead and put that one quarter teaspoon into each of our dry ingredients. So let's get our bowl. For our wet ingredients over here, what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with two eggs in each in each bowl, and I've said it before, but I always suggest doing the eggs first in any time that I do my wet ingredients, just because that way, if I break off a shell. In there, it's easily fished out. So we're good to go. No shells. All right. So let's go ahead, make it a mess over here, and go with our next ingredient, which is going to be let's see, vanilla. Yeah, a half teaspoon of vanilla in each bowl. To honey. Let's see, I've got an extra almost gone honey, so let's start with that one and we're going to do a, a half cup of honey. In each bowl. In each one. Now let's go with uh, one third of a cup of vegetable oil. I just use vegetable oil. It works, seems to work just fine for me. One 
one third in each. It's time for our bananas and our pumpkin. So let me get my can opener here. Sorry for the noise. So we'll get can opener going for that. And let's grab one more bowl for our bananas. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and peel down a banana. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of mash it. Now I like to mash mine with a beater here. And let's just do two to see how much that gives us. We need one cup for each wet ingredient. So we'll just give that a mash real quick. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just mashing it up. Uh, we want to try and do almost like a, a paste uh, with this, uh, kind of like with my zucchini bread. I don't like a lot of chunks in my breads. I like everything to have a nice, even uh, feel or format to the uh, to when you bite into it. So. I just mash them all up, and my daughter seemed to point out that these bananas weren't ripe enough. But, and I've always been told, and yeah, trying to get uh, bananas that are almost black, uh, give it better flavor, easier to uh, make the bread, and everything like that. But. These are bananas, and I had to steal these from my other daughter because she was going pretty good to town on them. These are the ripest ones that I've got. These ones I just got from the store today. So we'll wait for those to ripen up before I make more banana bread. So let's just see how much two bananas gave us for our uh, mix. We'll get out our one cup. Measuring cup because we're doing one cup in each bowl of wet ingredients. So it almost gave us one cup. Almost. So we're going to do one more banana. Just make sure it's got plenty of bananas in it. There we go. So you can have that tomorrow morning for breakfast. Okay. Get this last banana. Up, and then we'll get started on our pumpkin. Set you in there for now. Once again, I just use a, a beater and just mash it all up nice and fine. Like I said, this goes into the wet ingredients, so we want it to be almost the same consistency of all that. Said, and we're just getting this almost to a paste, almost to a paste. Okay. All right, so let's swap this out for that. Ah, hold it. So we'll put one more banana in there, and it'll give us basically a heaping cup of banana. So we'll go ahead and put that in this bowl. Now I am going to go ahead and add the rest of the banana to this, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Uh, these, in, these ingredients isn't like making regular bread or anything. It, they don't have as, or they don't need as exact measurements. The dry ingredients, yes. The wet ingredients, not so much. So. Take out our pumpkin here, and we'll go ahead and scoop this out. Let's just not use that. Here. I have to pack this out because it is, uh, I believe there's two cups in here, if I remember right, uh, or almost two cups. So 
I don't want to, I'm going to have to save this for the next time. Like I said, I make these pretty often. Uh, they're always good for breakfast and snacks. Almost everybody loves banana bread. Almost everybody loves zucchini bread. I don't know if a lot of people out there have actually had pumpkin bread. But it's very good. It is very good. So, we've got one cup. Alright. So, that should be all of our ingredients. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we won't need any measuring cups or anything like that. Now, all we need is our bread pans. And our oven is up to temperature. So, I'm going to get cleaned up and we'll get ready to go ahead and combine and get them in advance. Be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. Let's go ahead and get our bread batter <laughs> mixed in there. So, we're just going to start off with one of our dry ingredients. And this one just happens to be pumpkin. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and mix our ingredients together on the inside of the bowl of our wet ingredients. And then when we, when we got them pretty well mixed, then we'll go ahead and start putting them into our uh, dry ingredients. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and put it into our dry ingredients. Okay, there's that. Now we've got now we've got our banana bread. I'm just gonna use this because they taste a lot. I don't want to say the same, but there's a lot of familiar tastes in it, and it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, and as you can see, we're just mixing the bananas, the oil, the vanilla. And the eggs all together, just to make a wet mix, go ahead and pour it in to our bread, our dry ingredients, I should say. Then we're going to go ahead and mix all that together. And then what I'll do is once I get that mixed together, I'll just go ahead and scrape it off into our pans. You do want a greased pan. So I'm going to try the spray grease. I usually don't. I usually use butter, but I'm going to try this just to see if it's butter flavored. So we'll see how she works. But I like a nice coat all inside of there. There we go. Nice and coated. Now I don't flour my pans. I only just grease them. So let's go ahead and get our dry and wet on our banana mixed all together. And it just makes a really th uh, thick batter when you mix it all together. There we go. Getting all mixed in. Okay. So if you want to compare it, it would be kind of like a brownie batter. Kind of like brownie batter would be something that you could kind of compare it to. Okay, so we've got that all mixed up. Let's go ahead and get it into one of our greased pans. down a little bit more here. Use a bigger, wider one. Like I said, each of these, uh, I call them small batches because when I uh, make two different kinds of bread, what I'll do is I'll cut my original recipe, which makes two loaves. I'll cut those, cut that in half. Okay, so, Get the batter out of that one. 
Let's go ahead and I'm just going to set that there for now. Go ahead and mix our pumpkin bread together. Oop, making a mess, making a mess. And once again, it's going to make something quite similar to a brownie mix. Uh, this one here looks like it's just going to be just a little bit thicker. Oh, smell off that. Oh, it smells pretty good. Oh. So once again, like I said, kind of like, kind of like brownie mix. Let's go ahead and get it into our grease pan. all washed up here in a minute as soon as we get these in the oven so that way my wife likes <laughs> that I'm picking up after myself all right guys so this is what we've got and with the banana bread I usually try and smooth out the surface best as I can okay so there's our banana bread and here is our I'm sorry here is our pumpkin bread and here is our banana bread so, let's go ahead and get these suckers in the oven, and we'll go ahead and get cleaned up, and we'll be right back with you to show our end product. All right, guys, it's time to take our banana bread and our pumpkin bread out of the oven. Let's go ahead and get them pulled out. Oh, they look pretty good. Let me get my cooling rack out here. All right. And we're going to want to let these cool down completely. They're not quite completely, but cool down quite a bit in order to uh, be able to cut them. Sometimes when they're a little warm, they are a little difficult to cut. Oh, banana bread turned out great. All right, guys, well, what we'll do, let these cool down for just a little bit, and then we'll be back, and we'll go ahead and get them cut up, and we'll give them a try. All right, guys, and we're back. Our bread has cooled. So we're gonna see, like I said, I normally use butter when I put these in. I wanted to try the spray, just to see if that was any easier. If I don't have butter, you know, I can still make these. So with the butter, they just fall out. <laughs> Same thing. All right, very nice. There's the banana bread. And you can see, here's the pumpkin bread. Now, I did let these cool quite a bit longer than with my zucchini bread, so uh, they have had quite a bit of time to dry out. It's probably been a good hour or so. So, let's go ahead and get... Oh, I've been, I've been waiting for this banana, banana bread. I've been waiting for it. Let's go ahead and get one of these out here and try it out and see how we like it. So, And just like my wife, my favorite part is the heel when it comes to the banana bread. So, I'm not sure if you can see that, but nice, light, and airy. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of heavy, but it's not too awful heavy. But it just turned out, just turned out great. All right. Let's go ahead and get a slice into the pumpkin pie. I'm actually going to save this one for her because it is her favorite. So, I will have another slice. Here in just a second. So let's go with our pumpkin bread. And once again, she likes the heel, so I'll save it for her. Uh, let's go ahead and get sliced in here. And you saw how wet battery that was. But look how nice and airy. Hopefully you can see that. How nice and airy that is. You know, and oh, it just smells amazing. It really smells good. So I'm gonna save those for her. But let's go ahead and get a taste on 
the banana bread. Like I said, I've been waiting for this. Cut it in half. Oh, just cuts in half so nice and easy. Just pulls apart, just like, just like bread. I mean, it's really, really good. Mmm. That's pretty good. Put those on here for her, because she'll like them too. All right, let's go ahead and try a slice of the pumpkin bread. Mmm. It really tastes bananas in that one. Glad I went and put a little extra <laughs> in there. Same thing on the on the pumpkin bread. Just real nice, uh, real nice bread. Just comes out with a great texture. Okay, and mmm, mmm, that's pretty good pumpkin bread. <laughs> Even better when you put butter on it. But I don't want to get the butter out and take it while you guys tonight. So I apologize. I shouldn't eat talk with my mouth full. So guys, we'll go ahead and end the video there. Uh, once again, this was a video on pumpkin bread and banana bread. Have a good night.